Wow. Wow. It's never a comical thing that brings you to Christ. Never. <laughs> like any born again, it's never, you know, I was just laughing my balls off and uh, decided, bah, I'm going to dedicate my <laughs> life to Jesus. It's always the bottom of the barrel. Always. Never I was getting blown by a chick and I look down, she's 450, she falls down the stairs. <laughs> Never a fun situation. We're trying to have some real f Christian fun. Episode 7, Mr. Rabinowitz controls the world. <laughs> oh. It's kind of like South Park, Voss dies at the end of every episode. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> All right, we got more audio here. Robbins has been shopping the show to television executives for nine long years. Wow. Secular execs didn't see much funny about Christianity, and Christian execs didn't see much Christian about being funny. It right. sounded like you were sort of betwixt like and Reese's. between and trying to sell this. Yeah, you get to look, I mean, a Christian what? I mean, there was a three-year period I thought my name was, you're nuts. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, the comedy like that. Oh, boy. With comedy like that. Oh, boy. Oh, I, I see oh, winner. My. I wow. see winner. You know what it is? He's having trouble, this poor guy. This poor bastard. He's between a rock and a Roman soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I've long since been saying that we should have a Greg and Tony website mm -hmm. because there are certain people we could get on the phone and interview. Where they couldn't research the fact that we are Opie and Anthony. Yeah. Um, Demons spawn from hell. They could go to the Greg and Tony uh, website and see that it's a fun show and they'd be willing mm -hmm. to come on. Yeah. Yeah, because I would love to uh, have a little chat with this guy. Oh, he must Just be imagine hoof. he's there sitting or, or on the phone uh, talking with us and we take a call from maybe Steve from Yellowstone. <laughs> Want to hear more audio here, you guys? Bet I do. Of course. All right. The Christian Network picked it up. Ooh. But the president of Christian Cornerstone Television bit. He thinks the social climate is right. We wanted to make a statement that I think is appropriate this, at this time in history. Is your goal, though, conversion? I've chosen service, so it's my job to go out throughout the world and spread the, and spread the word of Jesus Christ. Does the show do that? I'm not sure. Jim Young, who plays the church office manager on the show, has a background in Christian theater. He hopes people will laugh first and then listen to the message. I think often when we're laughing, that's when we're open to hearing things in a different way. Oh, boy. It's like a uh, cross between the uh, PTL club and jackass. <laughs> Is the pitch meeting. <laughs> Yeah. The, the, well, you know, it's funny. All the religions are doing it now. Uh, yeah. the Islamic uh, people have their own little sit comments about a bomb maker. Who's just so goofy? He always blows a hand off. <laughs> but they can, they can only get two episodes written. <laughs> <laughs> the wacky neighbor, 04, comes over every day, talks about some plot that never happens. <laughs> Oh, uh, episode five is a real hoot. That was nominated for an Emmy. Show me a clip and I'll show you a beheading. <laughs> well, they have a goal with this show. Do they? They have a goal. Good. Cornerstone Good. says the sitcom will start in a hundred markets around the country, some Christian and some secular. And he thinks that number will grow. Robbins freely admits his goal is more than laughter. I, I believe that the masses aren't going to look and go, well, it, they're, they're claiming Christ as their Savior and I'm not going to watch it. No. They're going to watch it, they're going to like it, and then also they're going to see oh, that Christianity is not what they thought it was. Mm. Wow. Let's say hi to Rough Rider from That's Wackbag. only true if people thought Christ Christianity was a good sitcom. Oh. Rough Rider. <laughs> hey, guys. How you doing? All right, Rough Rider. <laughs> Didn't they have a show like this in the 80s uh, with uh, the guy that played George Jefferson called Amen? That's different, though. It was a guy playing a preacher. It's funny you mentioned George Jefferson. My good friend Sherman called me last night. <laughs> like to bring him on this radio program. Why did there he you go. Because he's doing uh, the surreal life. Oh, okay. 
Um, ah, we'd love to have him on. That's different, though. That's that's not like a religious mess. This is a guy, you know. Punch it out, guys. Mm. All right, we have one more clip here. Now, the show debuts later this week, and it should look pretty good. It's being shot in high-definition television, another oh, wow. reason the producers think so many of the secular stations who've signed on were interested, Diane. If it's in all these markets, Claire, do they expect to make sitcom-level money, and where does the money mm -hmm. go? Well, that's very interesting. You know, the president of Cornerstone Television says this project is so important to him right now, he's not necessarily looking to make money, he's just hoping not to lose money. So that's a pretty nice situation for a sitcom to be in. Hmm. Just doesn't want to lose money. Boy, what a pitch. Pastor Greg. We don't know if it's going to affect people or not. We're yeah. just putting it out there. It's comedy. Episode 4, Pastor Greg kicks a little dog who knocks his food over. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Pastor, Pastor Greg is a real horse's patoot. <laughs> Please find out if we can get tape of this when it happens. Yes, we absolutely need to uh, get <laughs> these episodes on tape. I want to buy the whole DVD uh, season one. Already I want it. Uh, oh, Nathaniel. Um, yeah, well, we're doing a search for it. I'm not sure any New York uh, channels are carrying it right now. But Probably not. Really? Okay. You yeah. would think. Well, someone out there will help us out and send it in, right? Yeah. How was your Caroline show? It was pretty good. Cool. I went up uh, right after Kevin Meany. He stopped by, so wow. that was fun. Star-studded evening. Yep. <laughs> Kevin Meany, Nathaniel Bryan. <laughs> People got their money's worth. They enjoy cool. Kevin? Yeah, it's more or less. Cool. He's a nice guy. Hey, uh, I like his new stuff that he does. <laughs> he, well, he, he does have a story about being arrested at the airport. That happened <laughs> when we were at three, NAW. four years ago. At least four years ago. Hey, uh, Pastor Greg's going to be on Fox and Friends this Friday morning. Let's uh, roll tape, guys.